Hello, all you beautiful and amazing people. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Hyde. And if you're new to the channel, this is Hide and Seek Media, where we talk about news, sports, politics, and so much more. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. The authoritarian Biden regime rears its ugly head and is in full effect as it lays down strict vaccine mandates for businesses of 100 employees or more, basically forcing Republican governors to file suit in defense of individual and states' rights. And I talk about the one group nobody is talking about in relation to COVID-19. We get into all of that and more in this episode. But before we do, make sure to click the link down below and join my locals community. With your monthly subscription, not only will you get access to all of my articles and videos, but you will get exclusive content only found on Locals.com. And if you join in the month of September, you will be entered in for a chance to win free merchandise from the Hide and Seek Media store. So make sure to click the link below and join the community today. Also, I'm trying to change the URL of my channel from all these stupid letters and numbers up here to my channel name. But the only way YouTube will let me do that is if I get to 100 subscribers. And the best way for me to do that is if people like you click that share button and share this video to all your friends on all social media platforms. YouTube does not promote my videos, and so the only way other people are going to see this is if people like you share my content. So make sure to smash that share button. Now, let's get to the news. Reuters reports. Biden's vaccine mandate signals a White House done with persuasion. All right, so here comes the authoritarian bit, right? Basically, if you didn't watch his speech, and I, and I will be the first to say I didn't watch all of it, I've read a lot of reports about what he said, and I've seen the clips of the the highlights of it, really. Um, but I haven't watched all of his speech. It's hard for me to get through listening to him talk. I thought I was bad at this, but geez, Joe, you've been in the office for 50 plus years. You couldn't have figured out how to speak in front of people by now? Man, the guy is really losing his faculties, because if you go back and watch any of the videos from when he was on the Senate floor in the 90s, man. Way different person. Way different person. But anyways, President Joe Biden and his aides have concluded something in recent weeks. The Mr. Nice Guy approach isn't working. By introducing vast new vaccine mandates he once opposed, Biden is fighting back against what the White House sees as the sabotage of their agenda by a putulent, politically motivated minority. Okay, so we're going to get into the putulent minority in a little bit. They go on to say, after months wasted trying to persuade elected officials with bipartisan meetings and citizens reluctant to get vaccinated through gentle outreach, Biden felt he had little choice but to call for more aggressive steps, according to interviews with nine senior aides and close allies. The president's asked exasperation has been clear okay so Reuters has just claimed that they have interviewed nine senior aides and close allies to the Biden administration and all of them have said that Biden is tired of being nice about it okay so we all remember when Biden was asked if they were going to mandate vaccines and he was like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. That's not, that's not what we do here in America, blah, blah, blah. Right. Asked Jim Psaki was asked the same thing. She gave basically the same answer. No, we're not going to mandate vaccines and blah, blah, blah. Now, here we are. Here we are. They lied to you. Pinocchio Joe at it again, right? Lying to you. Quote, what makes it incredibly more frustrating is that we have the tools to combat 
COVID-19. And a distinct minority of Americans, supported by a distinct minority of elected officials, are keeping us from turning the corner, he said Thursday, referring to an estimated 80 million unvaccinated. We cannot allow these actions to stand in the way of protecting the large majority of Americans who have done their part and want to get back to normal as want to get back to life as normal. Biden's vaccine mandates for all federal employees and larger companies come as the number of infections in the United States rises. The use of ma- mask oh, the use of face mask return, newly opened schools shut Hospital beds fill up, and some Republican-led states defy recommendations from health officials. Some 100,000 Americans are predicted to die from COVID between now and December 1st, more than the same period last year, bringing the U.S. death total to 750,000. The prospect of the return to normalcy that Biden promised just two months ago during the 4th of July independence from COVID celebration has given way in many quarters, to uncertainty and fear. Biden's vaccine mandate marks a turning point, said Julian Zeltzer, a Princeton University presidential historian. What what you're seeing is him confronting the reality of vaccine resistance, he said. It's a little bit like his early views of Republicans on Capitol Hill, that you can persuade them through the right words and right demeanor. I think the administration has woken up to the reality that this isn't true. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to, okay, there's a lot to unpack in, in what they said here. Okay, so first of all, um, you know, they said the large majority of the Americans who have done their part want to get back to normal life. But it's also been reported that vaccinated people can still get COVID and spread COVID. So what is the vaccine doing? Oh, uh, it's well, it's stopping them from dying, which is great. Okay, I, I'm all for that, man. I, I've never once said do not go get the vaccine. I am not someone to give medical advice, right? That's something between you and your doctor. If you feel like you need it, go get it. Okay. But this is a load of crap, okay? This is a load of crap. And I'm going to get to why it's a load of crap here in a little while, so make sure to stay tuned. But the level of absurdity that this article promotes is astronomical, okay? I, I mean, I can't even fathom how somebody can think this way without looking at all of the data. Okay, that's that's what's really getting me. And we're going to get to that data here in a little while. Okay, we're going to get to the studies here in a little bit. But right. So these vaccine mandates, right, are pissing people off. People like me, people in like the state I live in. Right. Timcast.com reports. Biden dares Republican governors to sue over federal vaccine mandate, says have at it. So it says that President Biden dared Republican governors to sue his administration Friday over his recently announced vaccine mandate, saying he was disappointed that some politicians have been cavalier with the health of children. Really, Joe? Really? The health of children. Man. Show me the numbers. Show me the numbers where children are dying at record numbers, right, from COVID. And maybe I I could lay some weight to that statement. But, geez, come on. Talk about hyperpolarization. Woo, man. Some governors are calling your vaccine requirements an overreach and are threatening to sue or to are and are threatening to challenge it in the courts, said one reporter. Have at it, said the president. I'm so disappointed that particularly some Republican governors 
have been so cavalier with the health of these kids, so cavalier with the health of these communities. The president unveiled these unveiled new requirements Thursday night that would apply to upwards of 100 million Americans if strictly enforced. Okay? I'm one of them 100 million Americans. I'm going to tell you right now. I haven't gotten the vaccine. Don't plan on getting the vaccine. We'll get to the story as to why I don't plan on getting the vaccine. Right? Here in a little while. So make sure to stay tuned. So if you want to know why I have chosen not to get the vaccine, right? Stay tuned because that's going to come a little bit later, right? But, and, I, and I'll say this too. I work a day job to support my family. This is something I am trying to do outside of that. I work 50 hours a week, every week, you know, day in, day out. To support my family and I am willing to give up that job over a vaccine mandate you can bet your ass I am because no job right is worth my health no job is worth my freedom and I lose my freedom the minute I cave to the government telling me to go get a poke just because I need to get a poke without knowing anything about me, my personal history, my medical history, or anything else. If I am not allowed to give medical advice on YouTube, why the hell are they? That's a question I've got for you guys at YouTube. Why is the Biden administration allowed to tell people to go get the vaccine, to go get the shot? Basically giving out medical advice without any medical expertise. That's a question I'd like answered in the comments down below. So make sure if you have an answer to that comment, or if you have an answer to that question, leave a comment down below. Let me know. But that, that's a little curious to me, right? So Tim Cass goes on to report. The rules would be for the rules would force private companies with more than 100 employees to mandate vaccines or implement weekly testing. My job as president is to protect all Americans. So tonight I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated or show a negative test at least once a week, said the president during his 5 p.m. address. Some of the biggest companies are already requiring this, United Airlines, Disney, Tyson Foods, and even Fox News. The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. We're going to reduce the spread of COVID-19 by increasing the share of the workforce that is vaccinated in businesses all across America, he added. So, basically, he's daring people like Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott to do something, right? And filing a lawsuit is, is, is good and all, right? And that's, that's a good step. But we need to do more. We need to do more. And if you want to do more and you think I'm doing a good job here and you want to see me do more, make sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video so far and the topics. I love to engage with my viewers, so feel free to fire away. Now, let's get back to the news, right? So filing a lawsuit is a good idea. And it's a perfect good step, first step. But that's, we need more than that, right? We need to do more than that, right? So, so Governor Stitt from Oklahoma responded to President Joe Biden. And he said, there will be no government vaccine mandates in Oklahoma. All right? So for those of you who out there in the world who don't know about Oklahoma, we're this little bitty state, right, you know, just below Kansas, just above Texas, right? But we are the 
reddest state in all of the United States. There is not one county in this state that voted blue in 2016 or 2020. And as a matter of fact, we are the only state in the entire union to have a Republican House and Senate, state House and Senate, a Republican governor, and a Republican mayor in our capital city. Only one. So, Oklahoma is the reddest state, and we make, and we are making a stand against this. And a lot of other states are joining along. But let's read this article. News 6 in Tulsa reports, both Governor Kevin Stitt and the state of Oklahoma were quick to respond to President Joe Biden's new federal vaccine requirements Thursday. The state of Oklahoma plans on suing the Biden administration over the president's mandate for every business with more than 100 workers to require COVID-19 vaccines or weekly testing. The president announced expansive rules Thursday afternoon which experts will say say will affect about 80 million Americans or about 75% of the workforce. He also said that roughly 17 million workers in at health facilities that receive federal Medicare and Medicaid also will have to be fully vaccinated. Biden said he will sign an executive order to require vaccination for employees of the executive branch and contractors who do business with the federal government with no option to test out. That covers several million more workers. In a statement, Stitt called the president's announcement a complete disregard for individual freedoms and states' rights, and he says he intends to fight that order. It is not the government's role to dictate to private businesses what to do. Once again, President Biden is demonstrating his complete disregard for the individual freedoms and states' rights. As long as I am governor, there will be no government vaccine mandates in Oklahoma. My administration will continue to defend Oklahoma values and fight back against the Biden administration's federal overreach. So, there you go. There's a number of other states that are joining along with Oklahoma to file lawsuits against the Biden administration for this stupid, ridiculous mandate. But, as I promised, I'm going to get into that group of people that nobody was talking about and why I'm choosing to not get the vaccine. From NPR. Posted September 7th this year. New studies find evidence of superhuman immunity to COVID-19 in some individuals. You heard me. You heard me correct. Superhuman immunity. Okay, so we'll take a pause break right here for a second. And we're going to talk about exactly what I was alluding to through the entire video. The one group that nobody is talking about is the 35 to 40 million people in this country who have had COVID and survived, who now have natural immunity to the virus. Okay? That is the group nobody is talking about. And that is the group that is being lumped in with this 80 million unvaccinated people. Well, half of those people are unvaccinated because they have natural immunity. And even some of those have superhuman immunity, according to this report from NPR, a left-leaning news organization. They go on to say, some scientists have called it superhuman immunity or bulletproof, but immunologists, sorry, it's hard work for me to say, Shane Crody prefers hybrid immunity. Overall, hybrid immunity to SARS-CoV-2 or to SARS-CoV-2 
Overall, hybrid immunity to SARS-CoV-2 appears to be impressively potent, Crowdy wrote in a commentary in Science back in June. No matter what you call it, this type of immunity offers much needed good news in what seems like an endless array of bad news regarding COVID-19. Well, this is great. It's good news. Why isn't all of the media outlets reporting this from the rooftops? This guy was saying this back in June. We are now in September. Why is nobody else reporting on this? And why is NPR not reporting on this until now, right? Hello? This is why people question the vaccine. It's because you don't, st- you don't tell everybody the truth. You don't say, you don't give everybody all of the information. You pick and choose what information you want to give them and you, you direct the narrative how you want to direct. All because you want people to take the vaccine. Well, people like me who have had COVID and now have natural immunity, hell, I could be one of these people who have superhuman immunity to COVID. I don't know. All I know is I had COVID and it went by pretty damn fast and I didn't take anything for it. I just was going to let my body fight it off and it did it like that. I'm not saying that's going to be the results for everybody, but that was my results. And so why are no other news organizations talking about this superhuman immunity that we could be having through this entire country? But why aren't the, these media outlets just screaming this from the rooftops, right? NPR goes on to report. Over the past several months, a series of studies have found that some people mount an extraordinary powerful immune response against SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes the disease COVID-19. Their bodies produce very high levels of antibodies but they also make antibodies with great flexibility, likely capable of fighting off the coronavirus variants circulating in the world, but also likely effective against variants that may emerge in the future. One could reasonably predict that these people will be quite well protected against most and perhaps all of the SARS-CoV-2 variants that we are likely to see in the foreseeable future, says Paul, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name, Bianzi, I can't, I can't. Bianzi, Bianzi, a virologist at Rockefeller University who helped lead several of the studies. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name right. Okay, that's kind of a hard one for me. But in a study... In a study published online last month, the virologist and his colleagues found antibodies in these individuals that can strongly neutralize the six variants of concern of concern tested, including Delta and Beta, as well as several other viruses related to SARS-CoV-2, including one in bats, two in pangolins, pangolins, and one that caused the first coronavirus pandemic. SARS-CoV-1. So there you have it, folks. There's all the evidence you need for vaccine hesitancy. This is why people are hesitant, because stories like this aren't being screamed from the rooftops by all mainstream media. This should be talked about on all media. This is your, all, This story should be the lead story in all freaking media right now. Superhuman immunity. Superhuman immunity. Okay? There are people out there with antibodies that they can fight off any variant. And yet, you're telling them to go get a vaccine that they don't need. Why am I going to get a vaccine when natural immunity is better? I'm healthy enough to withstand COVID. So I'm not afraid of it. Because not only can I survive COVID, but if I do, I get immunity from it. I have the possibility to have superhuman immunity to COVID because I've had it before and I've gotten over it. And so why are we still pushing the vaccine so hard?
That is my question. And if you've got an answer to why the vaccine is being pushed so hard, leave it in the comments down below. And let me know what you think about what's going on with all this and about this superhuman immunity and these vaccine mandates. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video and the topic. I love to engage with my viewers, so feel free to fire away. Also, share this video. That's the only way I'm going to get to 100 subscribers so I can change my URL. So make sure to share this video on all social media platforms. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.